It's all strikes today, isn't it? Uh, the Hollywood strikers, the screenwriters in the U.S., uh, are suggesting that there's a a deal in sight. Um, so the, it was an exception is an exceptional deal with meaningful gains and protections for writers, which would be tremendous. This would be the longest strike to affect Hollywood in years. And it's halted almost all film and television production. It's also been supported by some of the big names in the industry. And it started on May the 2nd. It's cost the uh, the industry and the U.S. economy about five billion pound, uh, five billion pounds, yeah, five billion dollars, about four four point eight billion pounds. And uh, it's hit. It hits so many of the big shows um, and so many of the new films which are supposed to be coming out. And it's going to have, because of that, it's going to have a lingering effect. Um, but, you know, it makes perfect sense that people who are working are paid. And the problem with entertainment is that producers can so easily dismiss the actors and the writers as uh, not important or, or, or doing it for pleasure. So, yes, many actors, many writers do enjoy doing their job, uh, as indeed many teachers enjoy doing their job. Um, and But that doesn't mean that production should take advantage of them. And what, what I found in my experience of television in the UK is that production companies are a law unto themselves, and it's not just the actors, it's not just the performers who are hurt in the process of the desperate uh, quest for control and to make money. Uh, but it's also the, the, the lesser individuals, the people like the runners, the cleaners and so on. If the, if the industry itself is run by people who are taking advantage of other people, whether they are actors or writers, then they're going to take advantage of everybody else as well. And in the end... That includes the public, the people watching these things. We're all uh, conspiring effectively to do down others, and that is wrong. I, I think that's a moral issue. Uh, it's not just a financial issue or a legal issue. It's a moral issue. And um, when Channel 4 was being interviewed by the DCMS committee in 2019 about reality TV, which is one form of very cheap television. The other is, is of course, morning television, the sofa, sofa surfing television. Uh, the Channel 4 was defiant in talking about um, reality TV performers like me as contestants. Well, the idea of a contest... Uh, is only one form of reality TV to start with, uh, but it's the MacGuffin. It's not the real heart of the of the show. The real heart of the show is the um, interaction between the performers and the camera, and that is about performance. That is about uh, acting, and the obsession with even the union, the, the, the union equity, of which I'm a member, uh, with the idea that if you are acting yourself, you are not acting. This is nonsensical. Performing as yourself is a heightened form of expression, and it is a form of acting, uh, and it's quite hard to get it right, actually. Um, I... Uh, it would be it would be very funny if you were marked out of ten. Well, you're you're um you're you're only scoring a, a four out of ten in performing as yourself. But I think that's reasonable. That most people find it really hard to perform as themselves, which is why uh, it's a difficult job. I mean, it is a difficult job, and it's a very uh, it's a very hour intensive job. So when when certainly when I was on the circle, I was working twelve to fourteen maybe 16 hours a day, and it, it, it was exhausting. Not as exhausting as travelling by rail uh, in the current situation, but exhausting nevertheless. <laughs>